Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the weird Canadian life simulator that is Mon Bazoo. You know what? I'm feeling fancy today. We're going to put on the yellow shirt. Yay. Welcome back, though. If you missed the... What the hell? Sir? Oh, there's a door. I'm smart. That damn glass doors are confusing for simple-minded people. But if you missed the last episode, uh, we became a Destruction Derby champion. Actually, not once, but twice. Uh, you didn't see the second one, though. I was actually getting screenshots for a thumbnail. And I figured, you know what? Why not be a champion twice? Today is an exciting day, though. I'm really excited about it because I want to start earning parts for this car. I actually thought you had to find the parts for this car, like the buggy. But no, you have to win championships. So that means we're going to work on my other car a little bit. We have 31. 1k in the bank now so we really don't have to worry as much about money and uh, I definitely want to go get that engine today so yeah we're gonna do that I realize it's in the middle of the night right now though so good night I'm going to bed and yeah tomorrow we'll start working on the car all right my favorite place and finally I've been looking at this engine for a oh, long time amazing. Thank you. I don't know what you said. Oh, that's nice of me. Thank you. We finally have it. This is going to be obviously a massive upgrade. I'm hoping the car salesman is here today as well. Do I want anything else? I don't think I really need anything else. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I worked on the car, actually. I mean, worst case, we can come back. Uh, I know I need an exhaust, but I'd rather get the exhaust from the other place. Let's see if he's around today. All right, unfortunately, no luck today. That's okay, though. We'll just have to be patient and slowly get some upgrades. Now that I have some money, I can at least buy a lot of what he has once I do see him. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just install this engine and see how the car is after that. All right, there's the beautiful beast. <laughs> Oh, God, I have missed this ugly-ass thing. Uh, okay, so this should be pretty easy, I'm thinking. I mean, let's be honest, it's probably not going to be easy, but uh, I can hope for the best. All right, I just got to find bolts and unscrew them. All right, so it looks like there is some attached brackets right here. And right here, is it going to be four bolts and that's it? God, I hope. I think I got to obviously disattach the exhaust as well. It might not be that realistic, though. Um, You know what? I should probably just go under and see. Oh, God, that was the engine. I might have taken out a few too many things. Whoops. <laughs> well, at least I got the engine out. We may as well go buy new manifolds as well, because as you can see, that needs some work. Uh, Koenig intake. I didn't actually buy this, I don't think. It's looking actually pretty good. So we'll keep that there. We just need a manifold. We actually need the whole exhaust system, I think, still. So that's going to be our big purchase. I think I'll probably do that before I try and race this thing. Let's do it right the first time. Someone said if I spray this uh, mix onto my car, something cool happens. So I'm going to try that. Oh my God. Are you serious? <sighs> I hate you guys sometimes. Is that, is that rust? I'm going to have to de-rust it now too? Oh God. I don't even think I got paint here. Do I? What the hell? It did the other side too? Oh my God. My car was looking so sleek. Oh, I hate you guys. All right. I'm going to have trust issues. I did see a screenshot. I think I know where this goes. <laughs> and we're definitely doing that. Let's just take off the wheel here. <laughs> All right. Old crappy wheel. Goodbye. And the most important upgrade. <laughs> Why is this game so perfectly stupid? Of course, we need a golden nut for that. I mean, why not, right? There we go. I think the smaller the wheel, the better it is for racing. So this might be a great upgrade. I have no idea. Oh, I think I just pulled that off. Did I? Oh, yeah. Okay. So there we go. I, ha I, I bought a new one. Yes, there it is right there. Of course, we need a knuckle shifter there. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I guess I got to go buy paint and de-ruster now. Uh, that's something we can at least buy now. Oh, I forgot about my spoiler. Wait, did that fall off? I thought I put it on there. I think we're probably going to have to screw it on. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I forgot about my radios. <laughs> There's so much in this game I got to remember. So it looks like bolts go possibly there. And indeed they do. We don't want the spoiler falling off. All our aerodynamics will be gone. Okay, wheels are suggested to be 32 PSI for cold. So we're going to pump these up while I'm here and, and before I forget, because we've done that before. Obviously, we'll put these on later. We don't have the car set up yet, but uh, just trying to do everything I can while I'm here before I forget about something. Wait. Wait. What? Did I buy the engine in the last episode? I, just, I was like, I swear I put it in there and I saw it when I was pumping the wheels. 
Did I just buy two freaking engines? All right, well, at least we got a spare, I guess. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. I swear I didn't buy it. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I have lots of money and there's not much I can buy anymore. I guess there is the house I can buy. There's also a boat I'm supposed to be able to get. We'll worry about that later though. I think it's just to go to town, which actually would be really nice. But today is all about car upgrades. Oh, my spacers. All right, we need bearings as well. I, I have a parts list I'm adding to. You know, it's really annoying. They only stock one rust repair kit. I think I can use this. Can I use this on the truck? Press E to use. Yep. That only did the front. Don't really care what my truck looks like. I probably shouldn't have wasted that there. Um, But yeah, we'll have to buy a few of these, I think. Now we need some more freaking yellow paint as well. You know what? I'm going to paint the truck yellow too. <laughs> All right, there we go. An overly yellow truck. It's kind of greenish as well. I'm going to buy... I hope I have... An... Oh, and there's only one... Probably just wasted all that spray paint on the truck. All right, thanks for making me waste 50 bucks, guys. And now it's white again. Thank God both sides are white. <gasps> what? What? I can package these? I was just ready to do some more. I did not know that. All right, I feel like an actual drug dealer now. This is weird. Hey, brother, you want to buy a crap load of weed, bud? Yeah. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You're the best. You buy logs and weed. Anyways, the trading van should be there today. So I spent a week essentially just saving and sleeping. Uh, really excited to get these unlocked. So let's go spend a fortune on uh, vehicle upgrades. And there he is, my best friend. Okay, coming in hot. Too hot. Too hot. Oh, God. Damn. Ow. I mean, for an old truck, this thing has some speed on it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. What do I, I didn't really plan on what I want to buy. I just wanted to get this guy as quickly as possible. Oh, these are the new rally shocks. God damn it. I don't know. Do I really want those though? Because I'm going to be on tarmac. I do know I need the manifold. That is a, that is a $3,000 purchase. Looks like there's a turbo on it. So nice. Uh, should we get some of this? Uh, we definitely want to get NOS. So we're going to buy the bottle. We also need the connector, the mount, if you will. Don't remember if I have the performance calipers. I think I bought two of them, so we'll buy two more. We'll get the sports seat. It's probably lighter, therefore better. Turbo intercooler. Yep, probably should buy that. <laughs> Dude, you are having a great day. I need the... Oh, wait, did I just buy the manifold? No, I didn't. Okay, so we'll buy the manifold. Essentially, I'm just buying everything that I need. Intake, sure. Oh, there's a clear hood? Yeah, I'm gonna get something weird. The clear hood. That's perfect. Uh, I'm still debating on the shocks if I want to do those or if I should just do uh, the coilovers. I think I'm going to do the coilovers. Um, I don't even know what I have on my car right now, if I'm honest. I think I might have two of them already. Not sure what it means by metallic removal. Does it... Does it make the rims black? I don't know. I just bought it anyways. Well, we may use it. We may not. All right, we got a speed meter here. Dude, this is so cool. I don't know if I need a connector for these gear probably good to know and boost so nos yeah being that we got nos probably good to know when i when i engage that or not all right i have bought pretty much your whole stack buddy so uh there we go that's pretty much all the upgrades i need i didn't get an exhaust though i thought he sold exhaust so we should probably go buy that as well hello friends would any of you like some drugs uh, give me a small pack. Only my brother wants the big packs. God damn it. I didn't know they bought small and big. So yes, we're gonna buy the exhaust just because mine's rusted and it will forever bother me. Um, we also should get some sort of special muffler. Of course, I gotta get the stupid heart. I mean, why not, right? The rest of the car looks absolutely stupid. So let's continue with that. All right, and there we go. 15 grand well spent if I do say so myself. I think that's all that I need. So let's get home and see if I forgot anything. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stay on your side of the road. I almost freaking died. If that guy would have hit me, all these really expensive things would have went freaking everywhere. I would have had a little bit of a breakdown probably. Okay, now that I kind of see everything that I need to do, I'm getting a little bit of anxiety. As I've said many of times, I am no way a mechanic. So... I guess we'll just go and hope for the best. I don't even know where to start. I guess maybe the NOS. I don't know if we mount it. Okay, we do mount it in the back. Sometimes it's in the passenger seat. Uh, do I need to screw that in? Oh, crap. I didn't fill up my bottle. I hope it came pre-filled. All right, but there we go. NOS, yes. I saw the gauge move. That means it's either 
empty or full. I think that's a big number, so it's got to be full. Sweet. All right, all the gauges were really easy to install. Oh, you can even choose the placement. That's actually super cool. I didn't know that. So can I move this over here? Yeah. Okay. I can't see this gauge. Hold on. Let's put this one up here. Perfect. My very beautiful wheels in the way. Okay, so yeah, we I accidentally bought two intakes. I believe, being that we have the manifold that has a turbo on it, we should probably put the intake turbo on it. All right, now we got the intercooler. Uh, I had it. Hold on. You know what? This is going quite well. I gotta say, the engine's looking good, too. All right, almost forgot the turbo. That's kind of extremely important. Uh, there we go. Bolt that in. Okay, so I changed all the uh, brake rotors. I, we have actually good brakes all the way around. I think I'm going to keep the adjustable coilovers until I buy two more because we have, I believe, the sport ones on, which should be suffice. I don't think it'd be smart to have two of different types. Regardless, these things are looking great. Let's throw these rims back on. <laughs> Look at the wide stance. It's not as wide as I thought it would be, honestly, but it's good enough. I don't know where my golden bolts went. I'm going to have to buy more golden bolts because I kind of just use whatever I find. That's nothing we need to really worry about, though. So, yeah, we're just going to throw these rims back on. And then I think all we have to do is the ECU and the exhaust system. And we actually hopefully did everything. I mean, I mean, we'll find out once we try and get this thing to move if we screwed up or not. Oh, I just randomly decided to check that. That's got to be the ECU. Man, everything is almost going too well. I almost had a mental breakdown changing brake pads a couple episodes ago, yet I just essentially installed everything on this car and haven't had much of a problem. All right, so we'll screw that bad boy in. I almost forgot about the seat as well. We'll get that installed. That's easy. Now, this thing's pretty cool. We can change the ABS intensity, turbo wastegate. Don't really know what that is. And trash control. Um, you can even like customize how much of it you want. I'm going to keep it stock for right now. And I might actually use that like traction control could be helpful. Where did I put my clear hood? Uh, oh, <laughs> so hard to see. <laughs> All right, we'll put that on too. Quite easily the stupidest of upgrades, but I love everything about it. I mean, I got to show off that engine now, right? That thing actually looks pretty good. All right, now let's just take a look around. As you can see... We have very little rust left, something we still got to change. So we'll just uh, unscrew, I'm assuming I'm going to do all of these. Okay, I think that should be everything. So we should be able to pull this off. Nope. Huh. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, I guess I couldn't pull it off from that area. That's a little confusing, but okay. And pull off the muffler. Oh my God, why can't every time I do this, it goes this well? So yeah, that whole job took me a day and that is it. And we got one more bolt to fill in, and I think I should have done them all. Obviously, I'll take a second check before I get in because I don't want things falling off. But looking around... Oh, God, it looks so good now. I turned a crap car into an actually decent one. All right, I'm actually tired. Let's just go to bed. All right, I guess the only thing we can still do is rust repair. Oh, damn it. Why does it do... I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's a good thing I bought extra paint. What else is rusty? This... Still got a little bit of rust on it, but hey, it gives it character. All right, yeah, quick final pass. I'm not seeing actually any bolts missing, which is amazing for me. Uh, I thought for sure I'd at least miss one. <laughs> the heart exhaust really just makes it. So hopefully I did this right. Oh, it runs. It runs. Is my underglow working? I, I don't care about the freaking underglow. I think I had to have it on first. Oh my God. This is unbelievably stupid. This is so great. Okay, uh, yes. I would like to max intensity. Oh my god. It's so bright. <laughs> you know what? It looks so good, though. I'm so impressed. Okay, let's just make sure it actually works first, though. I'm so nervous. I think it's not... <laughs> oh my god. I might need to <laughs> drop the underglow a bit. Wow, I can't believe nothing went wrong. I I'm getting a... Oh, god damn it. All right, I'm getting way too excited. I have now gotten my car stuck already. All right, it wouldn't be an episode of Mon Bazoo without a slight mental breakdown, but it looks like we have done it. And uh, let's not try. Uh, 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 uh. Am I okay? I think I was sliding. I freaked out. Let's just give it some gas. And okay, there we go. Okay, brakes, brakes, brakes. Jeez, this thing's too fast. I kind of did legit go from a jalopy to the most upgraded car you can get almost, except for suspension. 
So this is probably going to be a little bit of a learning curve. So for today, I think I'm just going to go practice at the racetrack, do a few laps, and see if I like this thing or not. Oh my god. All right, it's a little foggy today, so I'm just going to do some test laps to get used to uh, the course. Uh, we'll worry about actual speeds later. I think there's multiple different tracks, just judging by the starts here, as you can see. So is that a drag strip over there? I actually think that would be the drag strip. I don't think it's actually going to be too hard. It's essentially just an oval track, so I don't have to memorize too much. And I think being that we have this really good car now, we actually might be okay. So screw it. I might actually just try it right now. All right, here we go. And away we go. <laughs> I can't believe I got this thing set up today. Oh, that was a bad gear shift. That's okay. Let's just take it back. And... I don't know how many laps this is. Wait, am I going up here? Oh, there is a new track. Okay, this I this is why I wanted to practice. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I got to really actually focus here. This is good. This is what I want. It was like a legit track, not just an oval. So, ooh, I am really liking this. All right, considering I didn't kill myself, I'm pretty happy with that. Full speed ahead. Not knowing the track, how do we do? Well, that's my best. Oh, crap. This is, is, is this just testing or is this multiple laps? All right, did I do any better? I slowed down at the end, so probably not. Oh, I did. Oh, God. I thought that was the turn there. Track race. There we go. Why is it still letting me do laps, though? All right, I'm very confused. Let's just go into the pits and see if we can figure this out. Because there's supposed to be a way to get the race car unlocks. All right, so I got a 57357, so it is... uh lap based i guess how do i unlock the race car parts though it must have not have been fast enough which i'm totally fine with i'm i like that it's going to be a little difficult all right let's just try the oval race as well and uh we'll see how we can do i mean at least this one i don't have to worry about much it's just straight oval i also think i'm gonna throw on the old nitrous might have been a bad idea hopefully i can make these turns oh yeah, i'm gonna have to slow down a bit all right that's okay Oh, yeah, this feels so good. I'm so glad I don't have to, like, really edit much. Because I was worried I'd have to actually tune this thing. Definitely would like some better steering, but I think I'm just going too fast at this point. Oh, my God. This sounds so good. Am I going to get a better one? Oh, 18. God damn. There we go. I got under 8. Or 18, I should say. I just wanted to get that. Oh. I still haven't figured out the unlock, so, uh... I think that's it for me for right now. I'm very happy with how my car is performing. Definitely do want to tune it a little bit, though, to see if we can get a little more out of it. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to if we want to get these unlocks as well. Uh, actually, what is that outside? I didn't see that before. So, yeah, my best was 17,798. Um, what do I need? Oh, well, I got it. Oh, you just got to click it to claim. Now, the track, that's going to be fun. We're going to have to practice a bit. 51, my best was 57. I wasn't trying too hard or using NOS, though. So, we have the first part of the car. Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> I was like, is that part of my car? No, that's the body for this car. So, yeah, really happy without even uh, doing much tuning or anything. Uh, we got the oval done, at least, so it's fast enough. Uh, next, I would like to get the track and drag done so we can get the race car as well. And obviously, we have a bunch of street racing to do as well. There's still a lot to do in this game. I really wanted to focus on the car in this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Next episode, maybe we'll take a break, go by the house, and figure out the boat and whatnot. Or we can finish up the races and get this beautiful beast as well. Regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying the adventure that is Mon Bazoo. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.